2023 will be a monumentally important year with two major outer planetary ingresses in March. Saturn and Pluto are the planets that deal with worldly events and business, politics, and finance. Saturn moving into Pisces on March 8th and Pluto into Aquarius on March 24th will set the stage for an entirely new global paradigm. When the year begins, both Saturn and Pluto will be finishing up their current cycles in Aquarius and Capricorn, respectively. January will also feature three planetary stations, Mercury, Mars, and Uranus turning direct, which will more permanently leave the past behind. While more detailed analysis will be presented in later monthly episodes, the movement of the heavy concretizing planets, i.e. Saturn and Pluto, will signal new historical and social cycles, as well as a different trajectory for mankind. While Saturn's cycle of two and a half years is much shorter, its move into Pisces, the last sign of the zodiac, has a very elegiac feel. This transit will most likely manifest as disillusionment with current spiritual, religious, or philosophical institutions, including New Age thinking, as larger, more destructive forces cannot or will not be adequately explained or solved by the current organizations. Additionally, a sense of being left behind by the medical establishment, whose now main co-opted reason for being is pharmaceutical profit enabling, may bring a sense of loss, victimization, or depression. Previous Saturn and Pisces cycles also revealed changes and reformations in religious institutions, with one such example being the creation of Vatican II in the 1960s. Pluto and Aquarius will be a much more dramatic and potentially destructive cycle lasting 20 years, whereby the use of certain technologies will prove to be extremely anti-life. We will be wrestling with the titans of technology and the military and financial surveillance state in an effort to remain fully human and non-hybridized. Now, while these energies might sound challenging and scary, to be truthful, we as souls decided to incarnate in this moment in human history, to either stem the tides of mad science and distorted groupthink, or to be assimilated into the Borg. As these will be long-term trends, they will affect us differently and not always directly, and we will have years to direct our energies to more positive creations. Based on your sign, where will you most likely encounter the dissolving effects of Saturn and the destabilizing effects of Pluto. For Aries, you may have to let go of old beliefs and find new ways and people to interact with to build a different future. For Taurus, some of your peer group may no longer be on the same page and this may alter your professional aspirations. For Gemini, you may become disillusioned with your work and seek out a new life purpose to deal with the changing landscape. For Cancer, your religious upbringing may no longer have the answers to how to bring greater intimacy and soulmates into your life. For Leo, faith and partner may be shaken and you may need to redefine relationships. For Virgo, limitations in partnership may also alter your daily lifestyle and purpose. For Libra, your old life is disappearing and there will be a thrust toward an entirely new form of creativity. For Scorpio, when if romance fails, you may decide to live life on your own terms. For Sagittarius, you may have left your old life behind and are seeking a new community. For Capricorn, you may experience depression or endings around your family, and this pushes you to develop new skills. For Aquarius, certain financial avenues may be closed to you, and you may need to reinvent yourself. For Pisces, it feels like one chapter of your life is over. Think back to 1994-95, and you must dig deep to discover new potentials for your future. So as 2023 begins, there will be a vestige of the old life, but once we move past the retrogrades in January and onward into March, we will have a sense of what the next few years and next two decades have in store for us. This will be a long process with many nudges along the way. Let go willingly of what no longer works for you or has died and seek the seeds of a new path within the ashes. I'm astrologer Patrice Kamens.